Nein, du nach. You finished crocheting your shawl. Oh my lord. That's awesome. Well done. You're making the progress. I, uh, I was about to ask for pictures, but I can just like look at your blog. <laughs> it's so pretty. You have an entire skein left over. It's amazing. I'm sure you'll find a blue someday in a random place where you're not looking for it. Uh, that's always good. So that's how I ended up with my stash. This is just from overestimating everything. So. Um. I think we're done with ads. So, I I don't know. I'm restless today. I'm assuming it's just from fireworks. I'm fine. I'm just restless. Hi, Beard. So, I don't know. I was like, maybe we can do power wash them today. But then, I was thinking... Which is dangerous. Maybe... Like, I have it on Xbox, but my Game Pass is about to run out in like a week. Like, maybe I should get it on Steam? But I don't know. I'm genuinely, like, open to, to suggestions of what to play today. I am completely indecisive. 
I was just like, oh, power shit. I am a bear of very little brain today. Um, so I don't, I don't know. So what do you, do you reckon I should get it on Steam? Like, I've got part way through on, on Game Pass, but if I get it on Steam, it comes with some of the DLC as well. Yeah, look at you guys enabling me. Oh. I put in for a key for DLC for it on Keymailer. I just kind of figure like with 4th of July and everything's all like loud and like boomy and <laughs> all right the solves um you know loud and, and boomy and obnoxious maybe we can do something I mean I can still be obnoxious loud Yeah, it has been here as well. We had like crazy, crazy rain before. Conveniently, just as we went out. Um, we missed it. Like, it's just as we got in the car, because we had to go to the doctor's office and pick up some stuff for bonus mum. And the second we got in the car, it started tipping down. And then it like, tape it off so we were able to get out of the car and into the doctor's office to pick up stuff and then i was like let's go into big lots um because you know they have important things like delicious treats um and then again the second we stepped into big lots like the heavens open and it was just like thunder and like torrential rain um but yeah i love this this stuff is good and it's good for you too probably not when you eat like a whole bag at once but you know whatever all right Because when are you, I, so I, I just got it on Steam, so that gives me uh, Midgar, Tomb Raider, and Santa's Workshop DLC as well, apparently. Steam, what are you doing? You're probably, Beard, you're probably getting the same, you probably had the same storm uh, nest that we've got up here. Um, and I tried on my new masks. I got some some fresh uh, masks for my trip. And they stink! So I don't... They're, they're all... They're like a bunch of these N9, KN95 masks for, for when I'm traveling. Because I know that like... A Sadie and Cell and Dean and GCB fine, but I don't normally go out very much, so I got some masters for if we do go out. And they're all individually wrapped, but now I'm wondering if I should unwrap them just to like air them out to try and get rid of the chemical stink. And apparently I have like, I don't know, a big head or something? Because they like pull my ears forward. But I have them, and they work, and they fit, so... Um, I I applied for a, a developer key for the Alice pack. It's almost finished downloading. So we're going to be starting from scratch. Oh, there it is. All right. 
Luna, have I even have, have I got you in Steam? I do, never mind. Oh my lord, you have a lot going on your Steam profile. Wow, you've played 88 hours. Did not me calling you out like that or anything. Alright. Okay. Well, I haven't I haven't got the LSD. I'll say I I applied for it in Keymailer, but I I don't know if I'll get it. Let me just uh, look over here. Oh, hey, that's cool. So yeah, I yeah I read it all. Uh, <laughs> the executable. But OBS is the same whether it's installed through Xbox or Steam. So that's nice. All right, so I am like equal baby. Like equal tiny, tiny baby. Um, now if I remember correctly, I had to turn the water volume down. Or was it the tone? I think it was tone. non-diegetic what is non-diegetic volume what is non-diegetic non -diegetic. oh okay Sound in a film that doesn't originate from the world of the film. Like character narration, soundtrack, or sound effects outside of the film world. Like fourth wall stuff? Interesting. I learned a new word today, kind of. Sounds that are added in post production, such as the rate of summary, musical scores. Uh, custom sound effect. Hi, Shay. We have a a calm classical playlist for today, so there's probably going to be a bunch of lullabies. All right. Um. Washing? No, we're not doing washing against the clock. All right, so I... <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to go for, like, relaxy vibes today. Um, Hi, Ollie. So we just grabbed this on Steam. Yeah, I wanted something kind of relaxy. Um... So I, I just grabbed it on Steam because it was on part of the Steam sale. So I'm starting again from scratch, but it just seemed like a nice sort of relaxy, chill game sort of as a counter to 4th of July explodey boomness. Um, and as Luna pointed out, that way uh, Luna can invade as well. Uh, which is always an important factor when deciding what to play. Ooh, fingers crossed. Yeah. So... We're starting from scratch, so let me know if the audio balance is out of whack. I'm, I'm sure it'll be just fine.
Is it, that's too loud, isn't it? Is that the non... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna alter the... Hang on. Let's see... Yeah, I changed the tone... Whoop! I changed the tone last time. Oh, that's ambient noise. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. It's that... That echo. I think. Yeah, it is. Music, uh, 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 that's my sick beats. All right, so I think we can have like a little bit of reverb, so I don't really know what those do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of I don't know, I just it just felt like it would be a good one for today. What was it? Was it Ah, there we go. I think that that tone is good. It's quite loud for me, but I can turn it down, so. Wait, how do I... Oh, there we go. Right click. There we go. I can't hear the music, but that's okay. So yeah, we've got it on Steam now. I did put in for a key for the Alice pack, which looked cute. That's not, that's one that I hadn't thought about.
Isn't that funny how you just get used to things? Yes. Well, no, because this... This doesn't have a boot. It's funny, the lo for the longest time I spent... Uh, I don't know, I spent a long time, like, trying to... Trying to correct myself. So I'm just going to turn it down for me because it feels really loud. Um... Yeah, I spent the longest time trying to correct my phrasing to, like, the the proper word. So, like, you know, hood and trunk. But I've kind of recently just found myself, it's like, you know what, people know what I mean most of the time. Does it really matter? You know, if I... how I say something? Yeah. So... I found myself using more of like because it's it sounds silly but there's like a bit of a like a process to translate everything from like New Zealand English to like UK English to American English and I still go through those mental gymnastics like every time uh, I use certain words and Flint's used to most of it Oh, I turned the volume down on it, and now it's perfect. But like... So, one of the ones that I'm always changing... Uh... Constantly is... Uh... Convenience store here. is a corner shop in England is a dairy in New Zealand you know the place where you go to get you know your cigarettes and milk and bread and candy and whatever and so in my head I still call it a dairy <laughs> but you just go down to the dairy but that's that's not a thing here. You go to the dairy here, you're going to an actual dairy farm. <laughs> yeah. So I had I had some advantage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or a bodega. I can't. I love bodega. I think that's such a fun word. Um. I, I had the advantage, I guess, by being raised by a British family, so I I was familiar with some of the British sort of terms for things. Uh, but yeah, it still still gets me every now and then, or I'm like, wait, what's the right word? Hi, Toast! All bodegas have a cat. Toast is first. Toast has arrived. We can start stream now. There, there's that. Was it the? Is it a? I think it's a Twitter account of just like bodega cats, and it's amazing. I've got all this effort to clean the car and then I just like stand on it. Yes, yes, I don't know what it is, it, but yeah. Oh, oh, that wasn't the right button. That's true. I locked the... I, f I forgot how to, to fix that. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Shift.
Bombers. Yes. Really? That was it? This is the extraordinary Dr. Power Watch. Oh. Oh, now it's telling me. <laughs> it's fine. It's going through the tutorial now and telling me all the the buttons I need to push that I was just pushing. Oh, that's what it is. I love this bit. Bonnie, Tyler. Bonnie Tyler is amazing. All right. My girls are itching to get out there and I don't want them still itching when they get back inside. Fair. Oh, I remember this one. Just, just like I just like I I enjoyed Winter Story last night, but I just I wanted something different. And this is a lot easier to chat to, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just. Restless, I guess. I think it, I don't know if it's a seasonal thing, maybe. Ugh. Bloody. Oh god, yeah. It was a lot. I mean, you've got a lot going on as well, because you've got all the, the games that you play with Dev and Beck and... Okay. Oh, I think the lawnmower is done. I guess we're doing this now. There were a bunch of, of like other demos and stuff, and I just was just like, I don't, just don't feel like trying anything new. Oh, okay, that helps. I think the today we're doing this because Flint was talking about doing the clothing store sim. And I was like, huh. I was like, hmm, maybe. I 
it's a lot of work like it's so much work Yeah, I suppose it's just being able to have something to keep your hands your hands busy while you're waiting for timers to tick down and check on food and stuff. That makes sense. I was trying to decide if I want I want to take my switch with me, but I don't really think there's any need. I don't really have much on there anyway. Well, when I go on holiday, I'll go up to Ohio. I don't even think I've got the, um, the online stuff actually it is really boring What I have on the switch. I think I have like cereal cleaner and maybe like a driving game in uh Animal Crossing. But honestly, if I'm when I'm up there, I'm probably just as likely to have just be reading. Lego City Undercover. The, the Lego game that I really enjoyed was the, uh, the Lego Lord of the Rings. I still think that's like one of my favorite clips from stream. Um, was Lego Lord of the Rings. Uh, when I finished like I went into bonus content of the game, which is so not me. Like, I played through all of it, and uh, I bought Sauron home into uh, Bag End, and Bilbo just kept on wailing on him, and it was fucking hilarious. It was amazing. absolutely my favorite clip of, of all time on stream was just like what the hell is going on here and i tried lego hobbit and it what just didn't land as well i don't know if they tried to make it like more fancy or something i've never tried the star wars ones But yeah, the Lego Lord of the Rings was amazing. I tried Lego Jurassic Park, but I managed to lock myself out of the game. Well, not out of the game. I was considered a soft lock or a hard lock. I basically got characters stuck where they weren't supposed to be and I couldn't progress. I don't know what the terminology is. I broke it, basically. I do have what have I got? <laughs> I do still have this game, which I never got to try. That Lord Winklebottom investigates, the one that the publishers sent me from England. 
I haven't tried that yet. Maybe I should take that with me. Lord Winklebottom investigates. And I have Story of Seasons as well, which I never really did much. Maybe I will take my speech with me. Honestly, kind of forgot that I had it. It sits on my desk all the time. I just don't see it anymore, I guess. I have Ring Fit Adventures as well that Kern sent me. Um, I have Story of Seasons and uh, Lord Winklebottom Investigates. That was the... we tried to play it on... Yeah, that lives there now. That's why I have to keep changing drink bottles, otherwise I just don't see them. Um, I tried playing this... I was on anniversary stream or another stream, um, but it didn't work on the capture. Like it did work on the capture card, but it didn't work with a mouse. Really, like it was a it was more of a touch game than a controller game. I think. Um, so I have that, and then Kern sent me Ring Fit Adventure, but that's not really a travel game. I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably end up forgetting about taking Switch at the last minute anyway. I'm much happier now I've changed the tone of the water. that was one that it was so weird so the the publishers sent me the key um no publishers sent me the physical copy from england so the shipping must have been phenomenal and i contacted them to let them know that it had arrived just so that i would they were like don't please don't play it until you know embargo and I was like cool okay so I emailed them and I was like hey I've got it let me know when I can stream it and they never answered um, and I ended up sending like three or four emails and eventually contacted the just like one of their community managers and I was like what am I supposed to do I've got this game <laughs> Well, no one's told me I'm allowed to play it. <laughs> like, help! And they're like, "Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's just, it's fine." They were like, "If you make content, let us know." Apparently, the basically their accounts manager switched, like, moved on to a different position. It was definitely a weird situation to be in. Freshly frosted one, if that was on switch, that would go well. I'm trying to decide like what sort of stuff I want to install up there as well. 
like Dane's gonna get Venture Story installed on his computer. Like that's just happening. But I think he's aware of that. This really is quite relaxing. how many like how many sides things have man that's why I keep forgetting that you don't actually have to do it all I love that you can just hold, like, click the right mouse button, and that's it, like... You don't have to hold the mouse button down at all. It really is, like even down to changing the, the tone of the water, it's a huge thing. Clint was making me laugh today, it was... I'm like, I'm super anxious to be in the car now. Um, which is silly. But he knows that I love driving through puddles. That's so, he was like going out of his way to, to like aim for the puddles on the road, the big puddles. Cause he knows I love when you get the big wash blow up from it. So you get the big rooster tails of water. And it's such a fun sound. It was a very, like, very audio thing for me today. Lots of sound things today. See, that wasn't clean. I do wonder about, like, how well made all this furniture is. 
that it withstands the abuse from a power wash. A, a power washer. Oh no, I just remembered the playground with the dinosaur. This is so huge. I'm gonna run my thing over your bike. I forgot there was a story in this. Like it's two dollars for cleaning that. There's no birds in here. Oh yeah, the grill. It really does make a difference when you put a crotch down.
forgot that you can get like your completeness list as well to see what you've missed. That was weird. Wouldn't let me stand up. Keep an eye out for the um, election results in England too. Probably not a great thing to watch while I'm streaming, but I'm still very, very interested to see how that comes out. Did I get it all? It was a very weird choice on behalf of Rishi Sunak to decide that the 4th of July was when they were going to do the uh, referendum election screen. Very odd chap, that one. I have pretty high hopes, actually, that the, uh, Stories will be heated. And hopefully enough Lib Dems get in to make Labour actually do some work to rather than sit on their House of Lords high horses. I forgot that this is quite a lot.
this really does help a bunch. get to the uh, the dinosaur park because I've done that twice already <laughs> oh Bilbo's revenge oh it's got a typo it's called Bibblers I love that one so much. I just, I didn't realize it was a spelling mistake in the title. Yeah, the dinosaur park is a lot. <laughs> I should probably correct the spelling on that title, huh? I just really didn't realize it's called Biblos. It's probably why no one can find it. It's like one of the first games that I ever actually managed to finish on stream. Including like bonus content. I don't know if this is an entire... Ali, thank you for hunting for that. Yeah, you can get down on your, on your tummy. Well, I didn't make it easy with the, uh, the typo there. It's been there how many years? I only just noticed it. But yeah, he just sat there. Like, he just, the, the respawn loop just kept on going and going and going. It was... Fantastic. I just sat there watching Sauron just get his ass handed to him repeatedly. 
Oh, we have ads starting shortly. Uh, I'm not going to take a break. But this would be a good one for you guys to do that. The green tint is interesting. It's like a slight green glow on things. There's so much on this. Oh, did they get? Oh, it did. Okay. I was like, oh god. I wasn't sure how detailed this was going to be. This is the first time that I've bought a game on Steam after playing it on Game Pass. I wonder if I can do that. I can. I've updated the title. Oh, man, that was a long time ago. That was, oh god, I had so many buttons on my screen back then.
There we are. Sometimes it's just so much better releasing the mouse. I forgot that you can do that to help with like motion sickness too. It's definitely a soothing game. One's playing clothing store sim. Honestly, gas station gas station sim was another one that I was tempted by. I think he was really interested, very interested in it, in it until I told him that you can like make your own stuff, that you can add your own logos. And it's such a like a relief once the uh it was very good he knew the answer when i asked him disappointingly he didn't even pretend Uh, 
Um, I don't have new DLC. Um, I did apply for the Alice one on Keymailer. Um, but no, I don't have any new stuff. I was just, I kind of wanted something chill today. Um, as, as a counter to all the, the loud, explosive booms and shit. Um, so I, I bought it on, on Steam. Um, so I've got the, there's like some free DLC that I have. Yeah. And I was like, well, you know, if it's, if it's a game that I'm coming to, um, just for the sake of it being soothing maybe i should get it and then luna's like you should get it so i can invade you so um that's what we did because yeah my game pass expires in like a week or so yeah you can you can uh do this co-op It does. An alleged dirt problem at the playground. Buddy, I know what the playground looks like. It's disgusting. My favorite are I'll help you but I have to do this my way I'm like then that's not helping Yeah, the number of times where I've had, like, offers of assistance to help around here, and it's literally someone coming in and going, I'll just come in and take care of this, that, and the other. I'm like, that's not what I want. No oh, thanks. <laughs> If someone could like just get these chairs out of the way, that would be great. Did it not? No, it didn't. Weird. I'm sorry, Sadie. I don't know why it didn't pop. I'm pretty sure I'm live. <laughs> Well, 
Well, the problem is a lot of people rely on that notification, apparently. Um, because I was just like, man, it is really quiet. Not rested, that's 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 the pets. All right. I did a manual ping out since the squad's been a poo. Thank you for letting me know it didn't work. I normally check, but I didn't today. I didn't I didn't realize how many people rely on the uh, discord notifications until it stopped working and I was like man it's really quiet at the start of stream Yes, the flame of Gondor has been set alight. Or something. Um, we went into, uh, we, so we popped into Big Lots and I got some crystallized ginger and we went into Maurice's clothing store because it was right next to it and I managed to find a pair of jeans that fit comfortably for ten dollars yeah I remember you mentioning them because they had they had a bunch of stuff on sale they had tops for five dollars and a bunch of pants for ten dollars and i was like eh and flint's like you should try some on because if you can find a pair of jeans for ten dollars uh, and eventually he just stared me down until i went and tried some on yeah so now i have three pairs of jeans that fit me and I don't even know how to brain that I've never had three pairs of jeans that fit <laughs> at the same time um, but yeah I think I remember remem remembering I think I remember you telling me about them for like like comfy bras 
I think. Yeah. So when Flint's like, because I didn't even really recognize that it was there as a store. But and Flint's like, did you want to go in there and have a look? And I was like, no. And I'm like, wait, I think this is the place that Sadie mentioned. So yes. So indirectly, thank you for ants. They actually had some boxes of like stuff for two dollars, uh, but nothing was the right size. Oh crap! Two. Um. But yeah, that was that was kind of nice. So I've basically been trying to sort of. I did a bit of a stock take of my clothes, um, and I realized that pretty much everything is like super holy. <laughs> so, like, I got myself some like new underwear. Um, not that it matters, but. Um, uh, Maurice's? Um, you're- oh! Here we go! Yay! So yeah, actually the- the new undies I got, let me tell you about them! So I went into Walmart and I'm like, I don't- I don't like spending money on myself. We've already established that many times. Um, but the last time I bought myself some undies, I just got them on Amazon and they fit fine, but they had like, I don't know if it's like a thing, like on kids underwear, they always have really hard elastic on the waist with like little, little bumps that like cut into your skin. And I fucking hate that. Or around the leg hole. It's just like, it's uncomfy, right? I got, and all of the ones I could see at Walmart were like that. And then I looked over and there was this like, um, Reebok. And I was like, ooh, fancy sports undies. Um, but their waistband is literally this, the, the actual mesh fabric is the waistband so there's no um there's no sharp elastic and that's so comfy uh so and it was like six pack for 17 dollars so if you're in the in the market for some new knickers and get a a, a multi-pack and they're like moisture wicking um Yeah, that's that's what mine is as well, Sadie. So I really like when when they have that hard elastic. Um, it just cuts in, especially if you do have like under tummy sweat, you just end up with like chafing. Honestly, they're really comfy. Like I don't know how they go with like swamp ass, but big recommend. Amazon Basics. I haven't tried those, but I'm I'm always willing. But I was like very excited to get like undies that didn't hurt to wear. Yeah. Yeah. So it was very exciting. So I got I got some some new undies, and now I have some jeans and some some bras so i'm pretty much i've basically used this trip to ohio as like motivator uh to like get some things for myself that i wouldn't get otherwise thanks oh hey would you mind Rappy, would you mind sharing the link to those if you don't mind? I mean, since we're we're all friends here, we're just talking about our knickers. Yes, you do. Um. 
Um, but yeah, I, honestly, I was just like, I don't want to pay that much for a pair of undies. And then I was like, for fuck's sake, that's like, what? Three dollars something a pair? Why am I being so cheap that I'm like begrudging myself a pair of undies for three dollars? It's like, for fuck's sake, stop it. Buy the damn underwear. Have yourself a comfy butt. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, next payday, I'm like, should I go get myself some more? Because honestly, they are really comfy. They, they, I mean, they're not 100% cotton. They're like mesh fabric. But they are, they are so comfy. You do, yeah. So I was, I was very, very feeling quite, quite decadent with, with my new knickers and my new jeans. I would love to. Oh god, the fireworks have started. I mean, as long as I'm at Jesse's, at Dean and Jesse's on the, uh, are you, they came through the mic? Dang. Um, for like the 23rd I don't care about the rest and take as long as we need So really, the only things that I'm like, I would like to try and find are some, some tops. Yeah. That'd be nice. flip-flops are falling apart and they got flowers on them and they were like 15 bucks on amazon i know i'm like i feel so like i've been doing the big shopping but i, I mean i haven't but i still feel guilty but yeah my other my other flip-flops were like eight years old and falling apart <laughs> so Waffles ate your new ones. Oh dear. I made I made Flood get my jeans today. Cause when I went to the store the other day, um, when I got my undies, I I bought him a new pair of shoes because I know he he's the same as me. He he will get me things that I need, but he won't get himself things. So apparently it works if I buy him things he needs and he buys things that I need, even though it's exactly the same. Somehow. Um but it, I was I forcefully asked for his card today to pay for those those ten dollar jeans. I'm like, I need these. I need your card, please. And he's like, oh, okay. And I was feeling guilty, and then I'm like, wait a minute, no, because I just bought him some shoes and some shorts, so we're good. Oh, look how close we've got to getting this finished. We're doing belly crawls now. But yeah, if you're looking for some good moisture wicking undies, big recommend the Reebok ones. I don't know what the specific they are, it was just like a box of them. They're like, I think it might have been $17 for a six pack, which is 
pretty damn good, really. I don't mind granny granny panties, but sometimes my butt eats them and then it just gets uncomfortable. <laughs> But I do like them when I'm like bloaty or, or uh, depending on where I am on my cycle. Like gobble gobble gobble, stop it! Freaking meat suits, man. I'm just out there, I just want cute niggers, and my body's like, you love me. No, you can't do that. Blue shorts are really comfy. It just depends under what sort of pants. But I do like the boy short ones. Like the the boxer briefs. Those can be really comfy sometimes. Especially under skirts. Yeah. So they would have a bit of protection for the uh the chub rock. I really ought to try and get myself some nice stuff from Snag because it's so cute. Oh, speaking of Snag, I think it was Snag had a an advertising campaign with uh, was it Nicola Cochran from um, uh, that show? Oh, for fuck's sake! I can't remember the name of the show. The Thirsty Period Drama. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Sadie. <laughs> oh, thank you, Remy. Oh, those do look comfy, actually. Thirsty period drama. Um, but yeah, the lead the lead female role, I think she did like a an egg campaign for Snag. And it was just like, oh wow. Those look really comfy, Ravi. We can get them in 10 packs. Dang, that's a good price too. I just pulled back there. Perfect. Hmm. Oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't Snag, it was Skims. 
that she did the campaign for. But the photos are just beautiful. Like, her, oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah. It's amazing the difference it makes. Like a pair of, of uncomfortable undies can just like, ugh, you know? Everything else is just like bleh. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> We're gonna be under there. Oh. Oh, there it is. Shells. Swing sofa cushions. Oh. Oh. 
Thank you, Taurus. Dog house roof. Yay! What am I? Oh, Prime Vista at fifteen hundred is what I have. Honestly, the temptation. don't really need a custom costume. Here's one with flowers. Okay. Um, bungalow, uh, I could simply do the bike one. I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know if this is what I want to stream today. It's not the most riveting for CCB, but it's definitely soothing. Oh. 
Alright. That wasn't so bad. Clean as an egg. Alright. Uh. Alright, we're in the park, Luna, if you, uh... Fancy. I think you should just be able to... Yeah, I've got co-op on now. Oh, oh. I see you, Luna. Yeah, having a very specific goal to work towards in this is just like nice for the brain, I think. Sometimes. Yeah, this is like the third time I've done this map because I did it for Flint to help him do a deer drop thing. Then I did it myself on Game Pass. And now. Everything's a nice little like shapes in this map. I do like that. Little triangles. Switz on your, your helmet. I had to help get it off. Luna's like, I'm going over here now. Like, man, should I have bought soap? It just seems like a waste of money to buy soap, though.
Oh, yeah? I still have yet to try a fluffernutter. I'm not really into them either, but interesting. Yesterday, what did you say the other day? I was like trying, uh, I mentioned a fluff another sandwich to Flint, and he's like, What? It's like, Wait, do I know something American that you don't? But he was, funnily enough, he's usually pretty, like, interested in trying new things, but he was like, hmm, no. He was not having it. What's the B? Oh, banana? I'm not sure if I would like that or not. Like the the texture might be a bit much. I do love a banana sandwich though. Actually, it's funny, I'm not generally into um, peanut butter flavored things. But there's a recipe for. Um, I keep forgetting I can do this. A recipe that, I, that Mel gave me for peanut butter cookies, and they're actually really good. But it's literally just peanut butter, sugar, and egg, I think, and that's it. There's nothing else.
third bright. Oh, I'm so glad there's no full damage. Yeah, it's very vibrant. Like for no particular reason I decided to start up top. What? Now you want to play Power Wash Sam? Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like the weather's cleared up here, which is disappointing to say the least. I was hoping it was going to be too miserable and rainy outside, but it's uh, cleared up. You gotta wonder what was going on here for this park to be so gnarly. How are your dogs with the fireworks? Thankfully, Daisy doesn't hear. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad for you tonight.
I'm I'm really thankful that we managed to luck out with Daisy where she's just like Eh, whatever. I don't know if Daisy really barks if there's a lot of echo. Is weird. And having that longer wand makes such a difference. It's so grabby. Yeah, they're starting to pop up a bit more frequently here. I haven't hit any as loud as the one that got picked up before, but it will be.
I like the uh, the shadows that you get in the grot. Yes, it's a shadow. Like a moon shadow, but dirt. I forgot how many little shapes there were in this. I really can't remember all the different components here. be far off surely <laughs> here we go oh my god it's only 32 percent ah oh, and that's with luna's help <laughs> I wonder... I'm 
Wait, never mind, I don't. I lied. Girls are wondering here. Hey. Remember if I did that one or not? Yes, sir. And that dinosaur is such a big job. It's definitely quite relaxing.
don't know. This is too relaxing. Right now I'm looking at this red and the blue and it's like, it's like a Nintendo Switch! They're cleaning the dinosaur. Doing the important work there. It's great because after doing that time as well, I have no desire to do it again. I mean, anyone can think. Riveting stuff is.
keep forgetting that I'm streaming and I should be talking. Consider this me talking to you. Man, I don't even think I've finished anything. That's an interesting flavor. Found some ginger lemon gummies. They don't taste medicinal, but boy, they do have a taste. The problem is the the music and the relaxingness of the game. It's working its uh, magic on me. I can't believe how long it's taken me just to do this one stupid spot.
No. Fuck. No dirt. Allowed. Oh man, this is a weird angle. It's interesting seeing the difference in how Flint Brent has clothing store sim to me. I thought I'd done this roof like fast and then realized that I already got half of it down. I really love the way the point paint green in this game looks too. Did a really good job with the textures and details.
I forgot how big this map was. Are we there yet? Sugar gadget, long stick. Sure, I wasn't in the way there. Definitely appreciative of the help today for sure. Otherwise, I probably would have just like skipped this bit. That's fine.
It's a cute little playground. Apart from, you know, the volcanic ash everywhere. That's the old jump up and see what you can hit T. So we finally finished watching Star Trek Discovery last night. Like through the uh, season ending. And I, I don't know if it was the case, but it, the last episode felt very rushed. It was a. Uh, that's a weird one. There were a couple of times where I thought it was going to end, but it just kept going and going.
taking so long. Probably because I keep on getting distracted. I think that the rope needs power washing is a bit weird. Oop, shit. Oh, it's so nice when Elijah area just looks like, okay, done.
dinosaur looks so shiny and clean. Ding 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 Good night, sweet dreams. very good at starting something and then forgetting what I was doing and doing something else. It's hard to believe that we've been doing this for three hours. I think I've put everyone to sleep.
fluffy. Sorry, I was like way with the the uh, way with the theories there. How you doing? It's been a very, very quiet stream today. Super quiet. Playing Fender Story? Nice. Going direct to Sailor? jumped on that one yet. I played on his server last time. Um, but I've been enjoying the uh, peaceful mode too much on my own one. So instead I just watch him get eaten by bears on his server and then come back to mine and make it all nice and calm. This game is like so relaxing. I kind of keep forgetting that I'm streaming. Uh, so hot. Hello. Welcome to very quiet, very chill storm. Pose me down. Pose you down. Huh? I was like, why would you? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hello, Zayden. Hi. Okay, so thank you very much and thank you for the resale. Oh, is no, this isn't the first. I I played it on uh, Game Pass a, a few months ago. Hi, Belzy. Green, you got it. You got it. Oh, Sarah. Uh, green for minty mocha. Speaking of minty mocha, um, have you got into Dawn Trail yet? And welcome, by the way, welcome to everyone who came in with Ace of Hearts. Hi, I'm Dal or Deliria. My pronouns are she, her. Um, and I've just been like zoning out with <laughs> with the power wash. So I've, I think I forgot to talk for about an hour um <sighs> yeah i forgot it was for me i'm just like cleaning stuff with friends um i'm doing all right just uh decided to pick some nice easy going relaxiness with this Um, yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I've seen a lot of people talk about Dawn Trail, but I think I'm kind of done. Hi, Keeks! I think I'm kind of done with Final Fantasy. Like, I love it, but it's just... It's a bit too much for me. Uh, I don't collaborate with people I don't know, but that's very kind of you to make that recommendation. Um, 
but yeah, I I really enjoy Final Fantasy, but I feel it it's like it it's really overstimulating for me with all the colors and stuff, especially in the larger fights. So I think it's it's a game for me to enjoy watching rather than playing now, and I'm okay with that. Works for me. Hey, what? What the heck? How did they think? Loki, thank you for gifting. Uh, uh, gifting five subs. And look what they landed on. Who's got star in the one? Thank you. It was very kind of you. I am uh But yeah, I I don't know, there's something about games with subscriptions now where I feel end up feeling like it's about because you get as I have if I have a sub I feel like I've got to play it and then what if I want to play something else and then I'm a child I'm basically a big baby a big petulant baby huge power washing fan here well good um I, I'm literally just playing this today because I wanted something relaxing to do while all the fireworks go off and make me anxious as fuck, so... Just, uh... In, no, I've never, never used a power wash IRL, but... I imagine it would be loud... <laughs> no, I don't, I won't, I won't bend for the memes. I appreciate them a bit now. Um. Yeah, I'd give it a go. Give it a jolly good try. <laughs> We've, uh. Daisy, we basically have to give Daisy a, a good clean every day now. And, uh, and the porch as well. Every day has to be hosed off with her. And... She helps. So, I'll be hosing the porch down to wash off her mess. And she's trying to eat the water coming out of the hose. It's a big, it's a talent. Very, very helpful. Yeah, she does the big kick and chomps on the water out of the hose. And I was like, what are you, he's like, you're such a dork. So I basically just held the hose pipe still, like I'm holding it is. And she's just like deep throating the fucking water off the hose. It's like, oh honey, no. <laughs> and then she starts coughing and sneezing because it's gone all up her nose. But it's so hot here that you know, it works for her anyway, but <laughs> she's such a dog. For anyone who doesn't know, Daisy is my dog. Uh, the dog in the uh, the emotes that Ace Hearts just used before. She's a, a pity. And uh, we've been we've been dealing with some yeah, yeah uh, dealing with some health issues with her, uh, which have left her with some pretty. Uh, we left it with some incontinence, so that's why we have to clean. Hose everything down every day. But other than, you know, like, she's fine though. Like, she's not bothered by it. Man, look how the difference is between the grub and the not grub. But yeah, it's very difficult to try and clean the deck when uh, you've got a dog trying to eat the water. And if you try and like get it away from her, she she's chasing it. For a dog who's like 
you know, half her legs don't work. She still moves bloody fast. Oh, she would fucking love a sprinkler, yeah. Absolutely. Um, especially with the heat. Put one on throne? I can put one on throne. Oh, I got a hype trainer mark. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's a frog! A balloon frog! That's cute. Thank you very much for the hype train. It was very sweet of you all. I'm curious what she would do with it, actually. I can find one that... Like, we don't need a one that does a, a, a fancy wide area. Yeah, probably. I'm just trying to find one that will, that's got like a, a, a flat base. What is this one? Circular Sprinkler. sprinkler. Thirty feet diameter? Jesus Christ. The porch is only like six by six. Oh, here's here's one that might work. Um Uh, where's the... here we go. Spring clip or... Daisy. Alright. A sprinkler has been added to the throne wish list. Yeah, so we, she's, her back legs don't work at all now. Her, her entire rear end has given up the ghost, but her front end still has so much zoom. Like, ridiculous amounts of zoom. Um, and so she can still sort of, she still s somehow manages to scuttle about chasing shit. And being a big howl. That one looks like it's got three different things and whoop. I thought. Thank you. Daisy will do it a big appreciate. Thank you. You know what, I'll go up on the roof and that way I'm not spraying in Luna's air. What? I'll, um, when we get it, I'll try and record her using it. But yeah, she, like, baths not so much. She doesn't care about a bath, but if you play with her, where she can uh, cat catch the water and then she'll get drenched and then she's like no no don't give me a bath so you just like soap her up and then she's like oh god yes she's such a goober
The biggest gooberish goober. Um, but yeah, thank you. I, I'm sure she will enjoy it. But basically, I've I've taken because it sounds weird. It, it, we having to clean out there so much that I've basically just got like a a bottle of cheap laundry detergent because it's cheaper than other stuff. So we hose the deck down every day, and then like every other couple of days, I'll like basically pour detergent on a broom and give it all a good scrub. We're doing the the scrub the deck. system now which works pretty well and she's adapted incredibly well she's such a, a good dog she's so accepting and just like whatever <laughs> whatever you do she's like yeah I'm cool <laughs> whatever sure It's like when we put when we got the wheelchair for her, and the first day we put her, the first time she we put her in the wheelchair, she, there was no hesitation. She was just like, "Wait, I can zoom! Oh my god, yes!" And she just fucking face planted and was just like, "Oh, okay, let's do this again." <laughs> Sweet puppy dog. Oh, um, please don't feel obliged to answer this at all, Asa. Oh, fuck yes, Toast. Um, have the election results stuff coming in yet? Do we know? I haven't looked yet. If if you don't want to acknowledge them, that's a hundred percent fine though. I get it. Burgers with eggs are like so good. Like that runny egg yolk, it's like a self sourcing burger. I saw some predictions that basically said the Tories were going to get trounced. I was like, okay. Interesting. I do not know what you're talking about. Pink. Man, why are ladders so difficult? So you reckon Lib Dems might end up doing better? Gonna be interesting. I'm I'm vaguely hopeful though. Vaguely hopeful. 
especially after New Zealand's elections going tits up. That's the thing, like, even when I lived in England, the, the Labour just, like, so busy doing, I don't know, dumb hippie shit. There's no serious contender for leadership. Whoop. No, very much not. Trump can go die in a fire. <laughs> the vile, vile human. Um, hey, we're doing good. Look at this. We're at 99%. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's when you've got to do like st sort of strategic voting. It's uh, it's tricky, and it shouldn't have to be, you know, like one or the other. Like one of the things that I do like in New Zealand is that you can vote for the leader and the party separately? That is really good, actually. Our ver oh, which one? Green's doing well is fantastic. So yeah, in New Zealand you can vote for party and prime minister separately. So you can kind of, you're voting more for like a coalition than anything. We did it! Good job, Luna! Whee! Look at that dinosaur. Yay! Man, that was much better with two people. <sighs> I'm just going to keep on plodding along. You're you're welcome to carry on and 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 keep going if you like. I, I picked this today because we wanted something like relaxy and like easy going on the brain. Alright, good luck. Have a good sleep. Thank you again for the raid and the uh, the sprinkler for Daisy. Very kind. I absolutely love this roof color. So pretty. This is like sort of. I was gonna say it's like a pigeon green. That's probably not the best color for it. Way of describing it. I don't know what else to call it. It's like a a duck feather green. I don't know. Why am I obsessed with birds now?
So did you mean, um, did you mean, uh, JBL the brand? Have you mentioned it before? I didn't catch your answer there. And see, I played this uh, a little on Game Pass, and then I had to, then I restarted. Those are bloody big footprints. I don't know if I need oop, if I need to Oh I guess so. This seems like it would like wash off the uh the plaster. Oh, all the fireworks.
A brink? What's a brink? Oh, I think I've always got enough to upgrade my water gun. My gun. Oh, wow. Can I do that? Um, I don't know if I should do that. Whoopsie. Now or wait. So do we each get the same money for it? Do you get money for it? Um, if you're on a d already done this level? I don't know how it works. Oh nice. Green is just so pretty. A little part of me kind of wishes that you would see like rivulets of dirty water drip down, but also I'm kind of glad it doesn't. This kind of has the same energy as doing like a jigsaw puzzle with someone.
so satisfying. These little messages that come along with the job always entertain me. I can't even imagine moving on from one job to the other without having five stars. What a weird thing to do. to be doing that from the bottom. Even the 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 mole the uh, mildew Mo moss moss the way I'm looking for moss even the moss is pretty.
go, bit of range. Urban X. <laughs> I was like, why is the roof not clean yet? Because I haven't finished it. Like, I've missed the entire one entire side of it. Honestly, trying to clean the roof when there's a volcano erupting in the different in the distance is a bit of a fool's errand. Oh, now that helps. This gun feels a, a lot larger in my screen than the old one.
There's a cat. Not shoot the cat. Why is the roof not? there for the roof. That's it. 600 bucks for the roof. I may or may not have tried to water the cat. The city display may have started with the fireworks because I'm hearing a lot more resonant booms. a lot of mud. at already 8 o'clock.
This really is quite cathartic. The city display hasn't started yet, it must be starting soon. much easier than the last one especially with my new gun <laughs> with the cat on the neighbor's roof A very cute little go pack. What else is there? Uh, you want to do one of the different ones, or are you happy just putzing along on career mode?
away. I'm literally only up on the roof again because of the, the, the pretty green color. Some shiny uh, spurts. Oh, poor baby. Hopefully he's not too uncomfortable with them. Yeah, I can't say I'm a fan of loud noises either. I'm really impressed that, you know, we can do all this without hoses. It's just like a never ending supply of water and the pressure washers. Hopefully stream is providing some sort of, I don't know, soothing, quiet calmness.
pushing the wrong button. I wonder if the people, the devs of this game, knew what they were onto with this. Like, how much it would take people, how much people would take to it, I guess. Man. But yeah, I started career again because I got it on Steam. Yeah. I figured like between it just like game passness, but also there's a DLCs for it come out on game pa on uh, Keymailer. So I figured if I got a Steam key for it, I'd be more likely to. Well, I'd be able to apply for DLC. How you doing?
decided this would be the perfect game for countering all the the stressy loud booms and You've done it the old place now though, right? Good luck. Fingers, toes, and eyes crossed. But not right now because I'm streaming and it would make it difficult. Icky. Sounds like a shower would be great. Sounds like that yesterday when I was doing the uh, the lawnmower on this Tuesday, when I was doing the lawnmower stuff, I was just like pouring sweat. It was disgusting. Do not like being sweaty. I'm so glad we got the um, park, Bino Park sort out. I think that's like, I don't know, that's my least favorite. Keep ripping What the ladders?
Okay, maybe now the city display is going on? I can't tell. Hearing a lot of thumps. The city's got four different fireworks displays going in different parts of the, the town. So pretty. I don't know how I didn't just screw off the edge then. Dream code didn't pop off today for some reason. Weird. These are big pieces. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nom. Bye for you. Very spicy. Yum. Those are very big bird poo splatters.
Is that it? Interesting. <laughs> Alright, districts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big bird poop. Okay, it's too flickery. I think one's for on cross here, and one's just general info. And why just have one when you could have two? Hey, well, no, because they're two separate options. There's dirt details and then crosshair dirt details. No, oh, you can't see because it's behind my head. But dirt details is on the left side, is it? My, my, my head's in the way. Oh, I don't know why there's two different ones. Maybe that's just an accessibility thing. You can't see through my head, Bakma. What the heck? My thoughts are transparent, apparently. Not. Hi, Nanio. Oh, baby. Ow. Last time I checked on Daisy, she was asleep. Oh, thank Daisy's like one of those weird dogs. She just doesn't really care. Like, on Guy Fawkes, oh sorry, Guy Fawkes, uh, New Year's, the fireworks, I bring her into my room. Normally I would bring her in and it's just a comfort for me, more than her. But I can't bring her in today, so. But yeah, she's not, not at all phased. Yeah, yeah, we want, I wanted something like, I don't know, just easy and soothing. With all the fireworks and you know, election stuff going on. Yeah, our other dog, she would wait uh, and see if there was going to be a reaction before deciding what to do. So, like, if you fussed over her, she'd act scared, but otherwise, she just didn't give a shit. But if she thought she was gonna get treats out of it, that was that was the the love ha lamb husky mix that we had. She was entirely too smart.
Yeah, I think the fireworks the fireworks bother me more than they do the doggo. Nice. Yeah, Drax has amazing guides for a bunch of story for. Oh, I keep forgetting I can just do this. I mean, that's perfectly reasonable. Is things to to dislike immensely. Drifter moans are definitely up there. to yesterday's message? I don't see that. Hmm. So it's more more about your reaction. Yeah, for my my notice for yesterday, I just see my starting soon screen. For today's one, I did it manually and just found like a random GIF. Oh, poor baby. Oh, how curious. Huh. Man, I look focused. There's some games that I will do the same. I will leave the room. If Flynn's playing Dead by Daylight, I'll leave the room. And it's not because I don't like the game, though I don't have any interest in it. But, uh... If he's... I can't, can't remember if he's playing Killer or Survivor. The Survivors, I think, scream? And... His headset's pretty good and normally blocks out most of the sound. But that just gets through every time and it's just like, mm, no, nah, I'm good. I don't need to listen to that. So I'll just be like, I'm going now. Bye. Have fun killing people, dear. Nice job on the chimney. Yeah, 
I still don't know what we're going to do for stream tomorrow. I'm probably going to be late because we're taking uh, Mum to adopt the payment. Ladies, bond now? What? Oh, fireworks. Gotcha. Well, if anything, it will get her used to finding somewhere upstairs to hide. Hopefully. Under the bed is a good spot. We're getting a uh, spring scent, a sprinkler off the throne wish list for Daisy to play with. It's going to be so much fun. Ooh, Eggs of Pulse suggests landslide victory for Labour in the UK. That's good. Because it's not Tories. Holy crap! That's going to be a huge. They're saying estimated to win 410 seats out of 650. Wow. You know you've done fucked up. I mean. <laughs> Neither party is particularly competent. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know about the Lib Dems, really, but <laughs> neither of them are particularly competent. They pro probably couldn't fight their way out of a wet paper bag. Whether Conservative or Labour. But that's still good. Especially with that, that should perhaps influence things a little internationally too. I arrived in England I think just at the start of the current quarry uh, rain. And I think her, uh, Boris Johnson was the mayor of London when I lived there, and I was just like, when I saw he'd been elected prime minister, I was like, uh, what? <laughs> that guy? Like Bojo the Clown? But that's fantastic. All of a sudden, my grandparents' visa to England is looking a lot more <laughs> okay. useful. God, this roof is so big.
Excuse me, could you not do that please? I'm streaming. aggressive noise gates on my mic it's just that that's really loud I have a limiter on there too thankfully That's not helpful. Falling on the roof off the roof is quite inconvenient. Imagine getting paid for a job the way that they do here. Like someone just follows you around and is like, hey, good job, you cleaned that piece of wood. Here's two dollars. Oh, you cleaned that rock? Here. Here's three dollars. Ooh, I cleaned the roof. Does the house get this grubby? And I say this is someone who has a pretty grubby house. Now it's just rockets going on.
That is a lot of dog poop. Oh, oh, not dog poop, bird poop. If there's dog poop on the roof, I'm impressed. Narnia, play 25s. Liz. You're welcome. I'm good at telling other people. I'm good at telling other people to get shit done. They not so much. Talk of getting me to do it. It, you know, it, it might scratch that itch for you. For fuck's <laughs> sake. You could always get it and try it for a little bit and see if if you uh, if it's if it's helping with the uh, the restless gamer syndrome. Or you could play Bunch of Story. It's only twelve. Oh, dude, that's a steal. Understand that one. Ah.
And then you can live out your dreams of being a muskox rancher. Hashtag goals. Well, I mean, if you can capture them, I mean, if you can tame them, you could just like bring her to the desert and pretend they're camels. Easy. Thinking. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't know. They they already have capturing for critters. Maybe they'll give a way to to lead cre creatures or something I mean, it makes sense if you're you're having mounts to be able to lead them. You could lead a bear to Drax. Not that he needs help with bears. The Bear Whisperer. I vaguely remember this house being a pain in the butt with all the little... Oops. that I'm probably gonna be... I've, I actually really enjoyed playing Assassin's Creed the last week. Probably gonna be doing the new... Um, I missed it on launch, but the, the Avatar game. Um, Ubisoft are doing another... Thing for the release for the DLC, I was able to squeeze in there. I'll probably do that at some point. I don't know how much attention it's maintained though. games that I want to play. 
but none that I want to play at the same time. And I don't, I don't know how to make that make sense. like popcorn out there at the moment. Very loud popcorn. Why are letters so difficult? Letters and doors. Bricks, wooden trim. This happened last time. Tell me how you doing? <laughs> Luna, you look so sketchy. Skulking around. up top maybe oh here's one oh it's dark here we did it I don't think it's dark here. It looks like it's dark here. Been a challenging few days. 
Yes, you can do it. You can get there. I'm I'm also counting down the days until my little break. <gasps> Ooh. Which one do you want to do, Luna? The shoe house? Or the skate park? Hmm. Eh. Don't have to finish it. Hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know why I've got to, like... Why I feel like I've got to get up on the ladder. Of course they do. Speaking of time, five hours of this. Oh god, every now and then there's one that's just like so loud I can feel it something on the floor. Why can't I? And for some reason, I'm not allowed to set fires, but these people are. Unfair. I don't like the motors. I didn't even realize they were legal to buy here. But the, uh... The rules for what you can buy and what you can't seem to change quite a bit.
Luna, please don't feel obliged like you have to stay if you uh, get tired or run out of or whatever. I'm enjoying the company and the help, but I don't want you to feel obliged. Yeah. Like, how did Cat do that? Okay, perfect. I used to laugh, I would travel, um, I used to travel a fair bit between Florida and Alabama and right on the state line is where we would go, go, go we, why where we would cross the state line, I can't remember where it was exactly, um, would be a gas station and a liquor store um, because the gas was cheaper I can't remember where, but gas was like significantly cheaper because of state tax in one place rather than the other. And then there was like the liquor licensing laws in Florida are unsurprisingly a bit more relaxed than they are in Alabama. I think it was gas is cheaper in Alabama, so you could basically go to the state line, buy a, buy a booze and buy a petrol in different states. me out that that's what happened. I mean, where there's a will... Never mind, I made it. I was doing so well. Mm. 
consider our city's got like four official fireworks displays. I don't know if that's an idol or not. I thought they might be, but I don't know. I do usually do them day of rather than waiting. You know what I just realized? All all this water sound. to um Flynn and I had a ran a couple of large guilds on different games and there was a, a youngin in there who would like she was at college but she was like first year college student she'd always fuck around with her college assignments and instead she'd get in and start playing in the game. So we started kicking her <laughs> Off, um, well, at the time it was, I was not team speak or event, I can't remember which we had, but I'd be like, you are not allowed to partake in any guild activities and you are not allowed to use our event server until you've done your homework and shown it. And she'd be like, fine. But it worked. Oh yeah, that was some big guild mum energy right there. All right, all the water sounds have made me desperate for a wait. So I'll be right back. It's better. <laughs> so on top of the fireworks, there's a we've got a pond outside the front door. And there's a very vocal frog in there. Like very, very vocal frog. Who is just like <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Ew. 
every, every night after dark that frog starts at it. I'm not sure what sort of frog it is that we have, but last year I did find Daisy had one that was like the size of my hand um, out there that she was licking because that's what she does. Weirdo. I was a little concerned, but she seems fine. But it was like, we hadn't heard any frogs in ages, and then like last week, I guess the conditions were right, and then all of a sudden it's just been an explosion of frogs every night now. And I love when they get on the windows, like they, they'll like stick to the windows to try and catch the moths going for you know, for the house lights, and then you can like see through their tummies, and it's really cool. It's super neat. You can do the same with the little li lizards that we get out here too, but it's cool with the frogs. With their cute little feet. Yeah, oh my god, so many lizards. Ugh. problem is with the frogs is sometimes they get stuck in weird places and you have to rescue them and when you rescue them they piss in your hands like way to show appreciation jackass I just saved you and you weed in my hand Oh my god, I feel so much better for going to have a wee myself. To be honest. Much better. <laughs> is, is that what it is? Froggy appreciation is just like weeing on your hand. I do enjoy seeing them though. We've got a pretty good amount of critters in our yard. Frogs and lizards and pretty little black snakes. I'm quite happy with that because they eat the bugs. And we saw some bats the other night where we were in the pool. And they'll eat the bugs.
They are. Why oh, I forgot that I could do There used to be a lot more bats around here. I don't know if they just we got too many cats now. But I, I was really glad when I saw them again. Because it was it was a few years that we didn't see any. We've been looking at um Doing some like changing up the the grass in our yard. In some patches, the grass is almost gone, so we were thinking about changing it to uh, clover, which is like better for insects and uses less water, less maintenance. So many reasons to switch over. I'm quite big on the whole lace maintenance thing. Big fan of that. Not needing to mow all the time is nice. Really? That's cool. I'm not I'm not sure how Daisy would be with uh with a whole lot of bunnies. Oh my, she's so, she gets so excited when we get the geese migration coming through. Oh, she wouldn't hurt them. The, the worst that she would do if she caught one is lick it. Twice now, I've caught her with a baby possum. And she's just had it in her paws licking it. And it's like, honey, no. And the puzzle's like, oh god, help me. <laughs> She's, she is a licker. She doesn't lick people. But I think it, I think, I don't know, with, with frogs and, and possums and things, I, I don't know, because she's, she has encountered puppies before. So I don't know if that's part of it. Because it is like she's trying to, like, care for them. Yeah. Like, sure. Like... I'll, I'll look after it. I mean, I'd, I'd much rather she did lick random creatures, but, you know... Of the things a dog could do, licking a baby is is probably not that bad. I don't know if that one did it. Yeah, that cracked 
cracked me up when I saw that S. I was like, oh, hello! The late 80s, early 90s are calling. They would like their graffiti back. Oh, that's cool. Some, to be fair, some games make roofing unnecessarily difficult. Especially when you're like me and you can't just like make do with a, a cardboard, a, a shoebox. And you've got to have a, a fancy shape. Making a clay shingle roof? You fancy. Oh man, auto roof is amazing. Oh, that reminds me, I still owe a. Uh, a big bother stream. I'm surprised no one's asked about it. things where like if you're not in the right frame of mind it, it's just it gets a bit tedious it's fun though otherwise I'll probably I don't know I might see if I can do it before I go because we've got some some new people in the community who haven't experienced Big Bobby yet and I think they would enjoy it I've just kind of left it sitting there um, incomplete just as a reminder. I think they've got a couple. I I still don't know exactly what day I'm getting picked up. But I've got a couple of things planned for for this month that are sort of off the uh, the usual schedule. Just to make it easier.
okay one of the thing things that i like about this park is that this there's a lot of little like individual shapes it's very satisfying just doing like one little thing at a time It's really neat how Luna and I have like really different ways of sort of going about it. So uh, Luna's just kindly helping me, so it's probably just doing whatever I'm not doing, but it's still. Interesting how everyone does things differently. I should just switch this to this one. Yeah, but it... I think on my last playthrough on Game Pass, I got to the helicopter, like the fire station on the helicopter. such an interesting concept for a game. Oh, you can't go under a ladder. the lawnmower land but I never that some reason I did really enjoy House Flipper too. Yeah, did you end up getting gas station Sam? idea what to expect when I tried that. It was it was all going fine until someone pointed out to me that I could break it into cars. <laughs> Fuck man. And then the tone of the game changed.
But I also started making more money. So, bonus. Yeah, we last we left our our wayward gas station attendant. The uh, we're making a pretty penny for breaking into cop cars. You know, everyone's got a skill. Some of them are even legal. It's just so fun. It's not my fault they made hot roaring so entertaining. If they didn't want me to do it, they would have made it boring. Honestly, in a game, if it's not, like, glued down, it's going in my bag. Yes, I absolutely need 5,000 silver plates that have no value. See now the, the way the way I deal it with I steal and if I get caught I kill the person who caught me stealing and then there's no witnesses. <laughs> it's fine. It works a treat. <laughs> hey, now we have some way clean to sit. I keep thinking maybe one day I'll play Skyrim, we'll stream Skyrim, but I know that I'll just end up doing the same thing. 
people doing. Hopefully it's not too bad for you. I like, I like popcorn hypothetically. But in practicality, it just hurts my mouth. Because I get those little itty bits of husk stuck in my, stuck in my gums and it's horrible. like oh god I hate it yeah that's a terrible smell I don't like the smell of microwave popcorn either I think it's a good one there's like there's like kernel stuff with like special soft kernels or soft husks whatever it's supposed to be safe for people with braces I've not tried that It's funny how everyone's got like a couple of smells that's just like, nope. Just like, no. Depends on how many flowers you put down. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that should have done it. One could say you're a, a buzz about bees. Thanks. It was a bit of a stretch. But you've got to work with what you've got, you know?
I would like the fireworks to stop now, please. If it's all the same to you guys. Yeah, I, I don't like loud noises. Especially when they're, um, like, random volumes. If it's like, like, so if I'm going to a fireworks show and I know it's going to be loud, it's fine. Um, but unexpected loud noises with varying volumes is just like, it puts me on edge. Oh, me too, Soma! My favorite when, or like, when they, they sound like that because they, they are actually gunshots. I saw you hold one of them on your stream the other day and I was like, oh. I I was streaming so I, I was like not watching someone else's stream while I was live because I would never do that. Yeah, that's true, Baron. I don't think I've heard any gunfire this evening. Hopefully they they chill out soon. Haven't heard any of the mortars in a while. The the clean surfaces just look so pretty. I really like being able to unlock the cursor washer, I guess, from the mouse. Yeah, I, 
I did see when when I saw you holding one of them, I was just like, that is a very large kit. Are their eyes better now? I, I think I know they had like a couple of them had eye infections. I know it's not tough nut, but I totally read that as tough nut. Oh, that's good. Tough nut the kitten. I can't help what my brain does, okay? Nice. Are you going camping again? If you don't mind me asking. I'll be, uh, I'll be going through Atlanta in a couple of weeks. But just for like a day, I think. I do. It's fine. I don't know why Automod decided to pick that out. I don't think Automod doesn't mod me. Imagine streaming getting moderated. Like that would be a vibe. Um, so you're going back to Atlanta to visit. Really? So it it auto modded the term shithole, not clusterfuck. Good job, what I might. But yeah, I'll be going through Atlanta in a couple of weeks on my my way up to Ohio. Actually, that name does sound familiar though. Hmm. Maybe. I'm visiting I will I'm I'm dog sitting to some friends in Columbus. Um, and then before that I'm visiting some friends who are just who are out of Columbus Little.
they can't remember the name of where they are, but it's a small town, so I don't think I'm going to say what it is anyway. Um, but yeah, so it'll be interesting because I've not been in, I've been not been up there since like. 2007? And it's my first time uh, going on a, a vacation by myself to see friends since ever. Since 2007. It's going to be quite the road trip from Florida to Ohio and back. And maybe if we can figure it out and it works out, maybe we can, I can go have a, a we can meet, meet Buckma for a coffee somewhere or a, a tasty beverage. Toast, that picture looks delicious. I will eat that. Thank you. Maybe. If that's some if it's if it's doable and comfortable, then that's something that we might try and figure out. But it's also no pressure. Gonna be house sitting and dog sitting two corgis. So I will be good for giant loaves of bread. Yeah, the last time I was up in Ohio, I was in a little place called Mentor, which is, um, on the, yeah, on the coast to off the lake. Actually, specifically, I was in a township very originally called Mentor on the lake. As opposed to Mentor, which isn't on the lake, is 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 set back a bit from the lake. Uh, a lot of big brain going on with the naming there. Oh, we have Ed starting shortly. This is me paying attention to my ad timer. Right. It is. We have ads. No, oh, we have ads. Right now, we have ads.
face is so grabby. How's your 20... oh, wait. Yeah, how's your 25s going, Nania? I should be able to trade in my old tools. You know, sell them to a, a pawn shop so I can get it wins. Oh, there you go. I just realized I've been using like the narrowest, well not quite the narrowest, but one of the most narrow. Oopsie. This park warden person who keeps on messaging is not the brightest crayon in the bar.
good job. You did it. Bees is like one of the bees is bees are one of those things that I I know I ought to get going like at the beginning like planting but I always hold off for I don't know what reason and then I just like well I've gone this long without bees it'll be fine and then I'll get irritated because I don't have enough wax for something. Like sealing crocs or making candles. Like, I really want chickens too, but I also kind of feel like until I have storage for egg, maybe I should hold off. And that's all dependent on my windmill efficiency because I can't figure out my kitchen storage until I finish building my kitchen and I can't finish building my kitchen until I've got aisles that I want. So no chickens until I have four tiles. Makes total sense. Which came first, the chicken or the floor tile? Never. Context is just boring anyway. straight from the horse's mouth something
of people driving today on the highway in terrain terrain it looked like they'd learned to drive from watching my truck sim streams and yes that was alarming Like, the amount of people who just, like, don't pay any attention. It's, it's alarming. And so many of them are speeding and it's like buddy where have you got to be that's that important that you're gonna risk your life for like i don't get it or panic because they've missed a turn off it's like it's fine just get off at the next exit and turn around you know nothing's worth that so close Luna I think this is gonna be my last one though I'm just my hands getting sore <laughs> okay. well that worked out well the floor
Honestly, who's looking at this point? Oh. Yay, we did it! Oh, thank you for your help tonight, Luna. Wow, that is an outfit. Whew. That was good. It was nice and relaxing. Nice and relaxing. Let's look at the summary. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe we only get $900 for that, though. That's absolutely rubbish. It, it really is fantastic. We love the room. The, we love the them. All right. Who's... Who's... Oh. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Jack, you've arrived just in time to leave. <laughs> How you doing? <clears throat> um, what's up, your bum? <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, that's not the button I was looking for. I am, yeah. Um, I to be fair, I had already decided that I was wrapping up bef before you turned up in chat, so it's not. Uh, well, because of you. Uh, part of it, yeah. It, the fireworks set me on edge. Um, but it's ten thirty. I'm just like my my hands are sore. <clears throat> make yourself a burger you're a bloody chef and while you're at it make me one with an egg all right let's see what the yes and hash browns oh yeah obviously All right. I. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Boy, it's quiet today, huh? Oh, why is this so harsh? <laughs> it's totally fine. Thanks, Luna. It was good. You know what? Let's uh I'm gonna send you over to see uh wait, never mind. They're offline. What the heck? Oh. Uh, Sherry. Is Sherry still on? Okay. I'm gonna send you over to Sherry. Uh, Sherry is playing Project Zomboid. Um, and then, yeah, me too. And then maybe Esker and Rimworld, apparently. Well, it's not. It's 10.30. I don't know what you're on about. <sighs> oh, I've been... I've been munching on ginger. Which is delicious. 
Oh, make... oh, you know what? I think there's a new one coming out soon. Huh? You want to dig some potatoes together soon? I'm pretty sure there's a new one coming out, surely. I will totally be up for that. 100%. Alright. Well, you're the one who bloody mentioned it. Alright. Ow! I'm wrapping up because I'm hungry and I need to wait. Um. But you just DM me when you when you want to do it. Okay. All right. So there's the raid messages. If you want to copy and paste one of those, we're gonna go see Sherry. Uh, Sherry is a good being. Um. Be be nice. Be courteous. When we visit friends, please. And, uh, uh... I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm probably going to be late because we've got to take uh, mum to a doctor's appointment. Um, so it's a good chance that I'll be an hour or two late. I may arrive on time. I don't know. Probably not, though. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing yet. We'll figure it out on the fly. Uh, have a good evening. Enjoy your day. Get some sleep and get some food in you. And I'll see you tomorrow. I've said that like 50 times now. It's totally fine. I'm really good at this outro thing. Bye!